yes uh, we can study the uh, now we can now we are going to study the uh, module 2 first part under that selection of motor power rating in that first derivation is thermal model of the motor for heating and cooling so we need to derive the thermal model here so what is the necessity of thermal modeling here it is required to calculate the heat flow and temperature rise inside the motor to do this we require the thermal model because while selecting the motor while selecting the motor temperature makes the important role while selecting the motor or for fixing the rating of the motor temperature makes the uh, plays very much important role that's why thermal model we have to study to do that we have to assume for uh, we have to assume something what is that machine to be a homogeneous body machine to be a homogeneous body homogeneous body means what so temperature of machine should be equal in all parts in all parts temperature should be equal that is the homogeneous body and temperature in various parts of the motor body do not exceed the safe limits the temperature should not go the beyond limits it should be within that so some things we have to study here what uh, what are those p1 p1 means heat developed p2 means heat dissipated w weight of the active part of the machine H specific heat, A is the cooling surface, D is the coefficient of heat transfer, theta is the mean temperature rise here. So next thing is that time increment of dt. So for a time of dt, temperature rise will be d theta. For a time dt, temperature rise is d, d theta. That we have to assume here. Next equation we have to write, what is that? Heat developed inside the machine is equal to heat absorbed in the machine plus heat dissipated to surrounding for example if you take this machine take this machine so there is a heat generating inside the machine there is a heat generating inside the machine that has to come out some part of the heat is coming out to surrounding and some part will be absorbed by machine part some part of the heat will be absorbed by machine part that's why whenever motor operates we feel that heating of that body heating of the body we can feel that uh, that is a uh, mm, uh, hot surface we can feel for that machine means what some part is some part will be absorbed by the machine and some part goes to surroundings surrounding surface so now so heat developed inside the machine is equal to his heat absorbed in the machine and plus heat dissipated to surrounding cooling media so that can be written as like this heat absorbed in machine is equal to heat developed minus heat dissipated heat absorbed should be equal to heat dissipated same equation just we are rearranging that's it so that can be written as wh d theta equal to p1 dt minus p2 dt this is the this is called as heat balance equation heat balance equation using these parameters using these parameters just we are going to making the heat balance equation w h related to uh, w is the weight of the part weight of the machine h is a specific heat p1 is heat developed p2 is the heat dissipated dt means time interval dt temperature increment is d theta so where next we have where p2 is the so p2 is equal to theta d a so theta is the mean temperature d is the uh, coefficient of heat transfer or you can say specific heat dissipation a is the area so so p2 heat dissipated depends on these three meter, these three parameters next we have Next, from that equation, from that equation, from that equation number one, so we can write it as W theta, WH T theta minus P1 DT minus theta D. A just you are substituted that equation. That the equation in P2 we have substituted. So that can be written as C into D theta P1 DT minus theta D into T. This WH is replaced by C and this small D and A replaced by capital D. So that we have written here uh, c d theta dt this dt we have taken this below here p1 minus p2 
theta t theta sum this is the first order differential equation so my suggestion is that so while doing while explaining that why you, you just to keep on writing the equations then we will understand properly if you write we'll understand if just to don't see the video just to while seeing you write down the equations next it is the first order differential equation where c is the thermal capacity and d is the heat dissipation constant heat dissipation constants so from this first order differential equation so we can get get the equation theta is equal to theta ss plus k e power of t minus tau where theta ss is the steady state temperature rise and tau is the heating time constant because now we are studying about the heating part that's why we have to study the heating time constant first you have to write the heating time constant from this equation from this equation k is the constant of integration where substitute when t equal to 0 t equal to 0 in the equation if you substitute you will get uh, theta 1 because here you have written theta 1 because uh, for initial value for initial value t equal to 0 temperature theta we are assuming it as theta 1 initial temperature rises theta 1 when t equal to 0 so theta equal to equal theta will be equal to theta 1 and t will be equal to 0 so we will get theta 1 equal to theta ss plus k power k into e power of 0 because we are substituting t equal to 0 so e power of 0 equal to 1 so k will be equal to theta 1 minus theta ss just rearrangement so in this substitute this k value in this equation you will get this much just make the rearrangement open the bracket here and multiply here so you will get theta s is common theta s is common take that theta s is common will get theta is equal to theta s is 1 minus e power of t by tau plus theta 1 e power t by tau equation number 5 where theta s is the resistor temperature rise uh, theta 1 is the initial temperature rise t is the heating time constant tau is the uh, tau is the heating time constant t is the time for temperature rise next for a cooling method we are for cooling time period so whatever equation up to 5 we have got it is the heating time constant now it is for cooling time cooling time means what temperature is decreasing temperature is decreasing so this p1 p1 nothing but heat developed now p1 dash it is a new thing in case of decreased power development it is the power de development decreases it is named it as p1 dash and heat dissipation constant d dash d dash this we have written so equation will become that first order differential equation become changes is that p1 will change to p1 dash d change to d dash we'll get the solution so theta theta s yes, dash will get tau dash will get where theta s yes, dash is the steady state temperature for cooling temperature tau dash is the cooling time constant of the machine so from for a heating time constant and for a cooling time constant we'll get the equations we'll get the equations so this is the up to this we have to uh, get the equation for a thermal modeling so we can plot the graph here it can be seen that heating time constant tau and tau dash depending on uh, this tau dash so as you said tau dash depending on what d dash tau is depending on d tau dash depending on d dash like this they have explained here and we can plot the graph here it is the time versus theta time versus theta means what with respect to time what is the temperature rise graph if you plot initially heating we have considered after that cooling we have considered it is the it is the motor temperature rise while operating the motor that thing it has explained